Dear ladies and gentlemen, let me present the findings of the joint research Artificial Intelligence, the Labor Market, and Education for Sustainable Development, the points of intersection. The research was developed by Katarina Osacha and Natalia Shumika. The development of AI raises concerns about replacing human labor and automating work tasks, which will lead to the loss of jobs. Companies' expectations from employees are also changing. More and more vacancies require AI competencies. AI specialists top the list of fast-growing jobs. Approximately 75% of companies admit that they plan to adopt AI technologies over the next five years, and this situation is projected to lead to the losses of administrative positions as well as security or sales positions by 2027. The report Generative AI, how will it affect future jobs and workflows, raises questions that need to be addressed at the level of companies and business leaders, policymakers and individuals, such as workers, consumers, and citizens. At the same time, the impact of AI technologies on the labor market in terms of sustainable development education needs to be studied. Our scientific research aims to delineate the points of intersection between AI, the modern labor market, and education for sustainable development. To achieve the stated purpose of the research, we formulated the following research questions. Are there educational practices to reduce the risks of introducing AI into human activities for sustainable development? What are students' attitudes to AI technologies and their impact on the labor market? What pedagogical strategies can be offered to education for sustainable development to reduce the possible negative consequences that AI can bring to the labor market and the negative attitude of students toward AI technologies? To answer these questions, we set the following objectives. To analyze the risks of implementation of AI into the spheres of human activity and the proposals of scientists to reduce them in the aspect of education for sustainable development. Based on the uh, surveying results with views of students from different universities and countries to study the attitude toward AI technologies and their impact on the labor market. To propose pedagogical strategies to reduce the possible negative consequences of implementing AI technology in the labor market and the negative attitude of students who are future market specialists toward AI technologies for sustainable development. So, for now, let's turn to the survey analysis. The survey spanned the period from the 24th of November to the 15th of January 2024. The survey involved 138 bachelor's and master's students from non-linguistic universities. Key findings indicate that students have expressed concerns regarding the impact of AI in the modern labor market. As a result, there is a need to address these concerns by implementing pedagogical strategies that help reduce them. Here are some of the main results of the survey. The analysis of students' answers to the first statement of the questionnaire shows that 53 and 6 percent of respondents emphasize equity disparities among people and the loss of jobs 
instigated by AI. The essence of the statement is this. When applying for a job among hundreds of applicants, I would prefer that humans conduct the screening and selection process to avoid unfairness and error. The analysis of students' answers to the second statement of the questionnaire shows that 65.2% of respondents expressed their worry about the potential displacement of jobs due to AI. After analyzing the feedback received from the student survey, we have come up with some compelling pedagogical strategies that we believe will be beneficial for higher education institutions. With these strategies in place, we are confident that students will be better equipped to succeed in their future careers. While formulating pedagogical strategies, uh, we comprised possible consequences of AI application, such as a negative effect of AI on the labor market, risks of applying AI in all spheres of human activity, a negative attitude of students toward AI. We believe that the future specialists should be equipped with knowledge to embrace the potential of AI technologies. The pedagogical strategies encompass the use of AI-generated content in uh, lessons and AI technologies to enhance higher education institutions' information infrastructure. These strategies are designed uh, to not only mitigate the negative consequences of AI, but also to harness its potential for the betterment of the educational system. Pedagogical strategies involve the implementation of AI-related technologies in all disciplines of professional preparation of future specialists at higher education institutions, adding to educational programs the disciplines that allow teaching students with the use of AI technologies, the use of AI-generated content in lessons, assigning tasks that will require AI technologies to exploit. AI technologies are used to improve the information infrastructure in universities. We propose the pedagogical strategies rely on the recommendations of the Artificial Intelligence Competency Framework for higher education institutions. We formulated the planned results that can be achieved when universities and teachers meet the conditions for applying the pedagogical strategies to mitigate the negative attitude of young people toward AI technologies. We considered the aspects of sustainable development while formulating the planned results. These aspects are well thought out and matched with the sustainability awareness diagram. As a result, we complete the diagram entitled Visualization of the Effects that May Result from the Use of the Pedagogical Strategies for Education for Sustainable Futures. When implementing pedagogical strategies, it's important to consider the five dimensions of sustainability. The first dimension is social. To achieve sustainability in this dimension, we need to focus on the education and social exchange that aims to enhance the skills required to use AI technology in future professional endeavors while promoting a better understanding of the ethical considerations involved in the use of AI technology in professional activities. The second dimension of sustainability is the user. This dimension includes the personal experience of using AI in both professional activities 
and everyday life. Improving the level of professional competence in the AI sphere and the ability to use the knowledge of AI um, effectively in day-to-day life. The third dimension of sustainability is environmental, which involves sustainable enterprise management, sustainable business practices, and sustainable resource management. The fourth dimension of sustainability is economic, This dimension is characterized by two factors, cost effectiveness for enterprises and the economic impact. Cost effectiveness for enterprises promotes the practical work of employees and saves money that would otherwise be spent on their trading. This leads to increased profitability of the enterprise. The economic impact refers to the impact on the country's economy through the growth of the enterprise's profitability. The fifth dimension of sustainability is technical. It includes two important characteristics. First, the technical safety issue, which deals with ensuring the safety of technical systems and equipment. Second, compliance with the General Data Protection Regulation. So, let's move to conclusions. This research work is a unique exploration of the complex interplay between AI technologies, the labor market and education for sustainable development. We delved into the unexploited territory of the commonalities among these factors, offering a comprehensive analysis of, um, of the multifaceted impacts of AI implementation on employment dynamics. The study's novelty lies in its emphasis on the need for pedagogical strategies that align with principles of sustainable development. This is all the information I wanted to present to you. Thank you very much for your attention.